Hi, Sue here with Get to the Farm. Homesteading is a lifestyle that appeals to those that want to live a simpler life, be self-sufficient, have a closer connection to nature. It's a way to live more sustainably, grow your own food, raise animals, and reduce your reliance on outside resources. Homesteaders often value traditional skills like canning, preserving, and sowing, and strive to live off the land as much as possible. While it requires hard work and dedication, homesteading offers a sense of independence and fulfillment that many find rewarding. When you visit homesteaders, you never know what they'll be up to. Let's pop in on a few and see what's happening. We join that goth farmer for Haley's first live stream. While she tattooed her new show rabbits, we chatted about horses, rabbits, tattooing, and the reasons she started homesteading. Mike is in the kitchen at Mike and Rihanna Family Blogs. He's whipping up some unique tasty treats. Cake mix cookies are a quick and easy way to make delicious cookies with minimal effort. They're made by using cake mix as a base for the dough and adding in a few additional ingredients like eggs, oil, and chocolate chips. They're perfect for busy bakers who want a tasty treat without spending too much time in the kitchen. Spring on the homestead can be a challenging time, especially when it comes to dealing with mud. Butler Family Farm shows us how the melting snow and spring rains can create a muddy mess. It can be difficult to navigate. To manage mud, homesteaders can create pathways with gravel or wood chips install drainage systems, or consider adding raised garden beds. It's also important to avoid overgrazing and to limit foot and vehicle traffic on wet areas to prevent further damage. With some planning and effort, homesteaders can keep the mud under control and enjoy the spring season. Clive's Conundrum Garden shows us how earthworm bin can be a fun educational way to introduce children to the joys of gardening. The process of setting up the bin and caring for the worms teaches responsibility and patience, while also providing opportunity for hands-on learning about composting, soil health, and the role of earthworms in the ecosystem. Plus, kids will love watching the worms at work and seeing the fruits of their labor in the garden. Flannel Farms is weaning their current litter of piglets. Weaning is important for growth and development. It transitions them to solid food and they learn independent feeding. Weaning at the right age and under proper conditions helps reduce stress and prepares the sow for the next litter and improves her overall health and longevity. Megan, over at Fireside Farms, shows us how she grows in the winter with a review of the hydroponics tower she used this year. By finding a hydroponic system and style that works for your situation, you can provide fresh greens all year long. Heirloom vegetables are a big part of our food history and help keep biodiversity alive. Unlike these boring commercial veggies, heirlooms are open pollinated and have been handed down through generations, which means they have unique flavors colors and nutritional value. Heirloom Reviews is continuing his series on tomatoes and peppers with a look at the deep pink cherry tomato, a type of juicy sweet cherry tomato that's similar in size and shape to other cherry tomato varieties but with a unique deep pink hue. Apple grafting is often used to create new apple trees with desirable traits such as disease resistance, improved fruit quality, or different growth habits. It also allows growers to produce apple trees that are better suited to specific growing conditions such as soil type or climate. Here in the high Rockies, we're hard pressed to find varieties that can fruit in our very short season. By grafting hardy stock onto our crab apple roots, we can have apples even in our challenging conditions. Suburban homesteader Wyoming to Arizona shows us how easy it is to graft local apple trees onto your root stock.
Homesteading can be a rewarding and fulfilling lifestyle, but it can also be challenging and overwhelming one, especially for beginners. The Crockers at Shoot Dang Ranch talk about starting small and not taking on too much when beginning homesteading. It's a common mistake many people make, and it can lead to burnout, frustration, and even failure. It's tempting to want to do everything all at once when starting a homestead, but it's not always the best approach. Instead, start with a few small projects or activities that you feel comfortable with and build from there. You can gradually add more as you gain experience and confidence. Homesteading can involve many different activities and tasks such as gardening, raising livestock, making your own food and household items. It's important to prioritize your goals and focus on what's most important to you. This will help you avoid spreading yourself too thin and feeling overwhelmed. Homesteading requires a lot of knowledge and skills. It's important to take time to learn as much as you can before starting. Read books, attend workshops or classes, and connect with other homesteaders to learn from their experiences. Caring for family and homestead can be a full-time job, and it's important to be realistic about the time and resources you have available. Don't take on more than you can handle, and be prepared to adjust your plans and expectations as needed. Slow steading shows us how to cut back on the homestead. There may be situations where cutting back on your homestead activities can be necessary, such as financial constraints, health issues, family responsibilities, burnout, or environmental factors. It's important to be mindful of your limitations and adjust your homesteading activities accordingly to ensure that you can continue to enjoy your fulfilling lifestyle while maintaining well-being and quality of life. Starting small, prioritizing your goals, learning as much as you can and being realistic about your time and resources, you can set yourself up for a successful, rewarding homestead journey. We have a playlist on tips for siting your garden, choosing varieties, starting seeds, and transplanting. You can check that playlist out, linked at the end of this video. Reduce your reliance on outside resources. And reduce your reliance on outside resources and adding in a few additional ingredients. It transitions them to... It transitions... It's continuing his Siri on... You can gradually add more as you gain experience. Get me to the farm